Hi, boys and girls. We are going to talk about picking a book that is just right. A book that is just right for you. Not one that is too hard, not one that is too easy, but one that is just right. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips here that you can follow. And this is perfect for if you are at the library, if you are in the classroom, if you are home and looking at your bookshelf. How do you pick a book that's best for you? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to read the title. How does the title sound? Is it interesting? Is it about a character you've read before? Maybe it's a book in a series. For example, maybe you've read other books about Henry and Mudge, and this is a book about Henry and Mudge too. Or maybe you've read other books about Junie B. Jones or Frog and Toad. So the first thing you want to do, boys and girls, is you want to read the title. Then you want to flip to the back of the book and you want to read the back cover. And boys and girls, most books have a short paragraph or a few sentences on the back that tell you a little bit about the book. We call this a blurb. So you want to read that blurb on the back cover. And again, ask yourself a few questions. Does this sound interesting? Do I think this is a book that I'm going to like? After you read the back cover, boys and girls, you want to take a picture walk. A picture walk is when you turn the pages of the book, you look at the pictures, perhaps you can learn something about the characters or imagine what might be happening in the story. Familiarize yourself with the setting and the characters and what might be happening just by looking at the pictures. Again, does it seem interesting? Does it seem like a book you will enjoy reading? This is very important, boys and girls. You wanna think about your purpose. Why are you reading this book? Would you like to laugh? Does this sound like a funny book? Are you hoping to learn something new about a certain topic? If so, you wanna make sure that certain topic is in this book. And if you wanna learn something new, you wanna choose a nonfiction book. Are you just reading this book to enjoy? To enjoy reading, to enjoy the story? Are you reading this book to research? Again, you wanna make sure that as best as you can, the book that you are about to read is filling the purpose that you want. To learn something new, to enjoy, to laugh, whatever that purpose may be. Use the five finger rule. Boys and girls, you can watch the other video so you know what this is. And the five finger rule is a good way to tell if that book is too hard for you or too easy for you or just right. And you might remember that five finger rule from first grade. And lastly, you want to ask yourself if you can summarize a page. To summarize a page is to sort of give a mini retell. So after you've read a page or two, can you think back and determine what that was really about? Could you tell about that page or two to someone else? A parent, a brother or sister, a friend or a teacher? If you have trouble telling what happened on those pages, that book might be just too hard for you. So all together, boys and girls, these are some tips that you can use when you're deciding on a just right book. Good luck.